Hi, this is Chris, 24K on Instagram, 24K on Twitter, and 24K underscore lifestyle on TikTok. Today I'm unboxing and putting together the world's first hackable single board server. It's a limited edition module from Zima Board. You can get it from zimaboard.com. So check it out. Go inside the cool case that they sent it in. And then here are all the parts inside. Now I've taken out some of the foam inserts to easily show you the different parts we'll put together in just a moment. Okay, so the first part of the assembly, I'll be putting together the Zima board with the external SSD that it came with, and it's 480 gigabytes. Just to show you the ports real quick on this device, you have two gigabit ethernet ports, you have two USB ports, you have a display port here for HDMI, and you have the power port. The power adapter is three volts, two amps, and here is the drive that the system came with right here, standard drive right there. And then we'll go ahead and grab the cable that plugs in. So you just line up the cable with the drive like that. It's pretty simple. Make sure it's fully connected in here like that. And then you have these two ends. These two ends will go on the back part where these ports are located right here. So you plug in that piece right there and then the power cable goes in right there. So now you have the 480 gigabyte SSD attached to the world's first hackable single board server. Okay, and then we'll show the next step shortly. Okay, so now I'm going to attach this dual M.2 SSD carrier to the Zima board and that happens on the very top there's the connector right there and then you just slip this board right into that port right there and I've already installed a one terabyte Western Digital SN550 SSD it's NVMe right here you can actually put two here and then raid them together for faster server storage. This of course is used to boot up the Zima board and do some system files right there. So then it comes with this cable. You attach it to the top part right here. Snaps into place like that. And then you have the secondary port right here. And now that's attached. So now you have this kind of SSD and then you have the NV ME SSD and that is just one I had from Western Digital. It's the SN550. Some extra cables that it comes with to use with this Zima board. Uh, Ethernet cable, so that's nice. And remember you have two Ethernet ports on here and then you have the display port to HDMI cable and that plugs in right here on the board and then it comes with a 12 volt 3 amp charger to keep it going and you get three wall plugs, so North America, England, and Asia. And then it also comes with another SATA Y cable. This is from a company called Ice Whale, and this is the limited edition Zima board. But this is basically it. You can set it up on the server, on the network that you have, either at home or at the office, and you can load on a bunch of serving softwares on here. And because it has two ethernet ports, you can have it connect to the full network. So this could be an intermediary between the internet and the network. So it can serve internet, it can serve files, you can add all kinds of uh, serving software on here. And because it can hook up to a display and a keyboard and mouse, you can also use it as a computer. Or you can just leave it on the network and SSH right into the device. So we like how easy it is to set up, how easy it is to plug in everything. You can use SATA SSDs and PCIe NVMe SSDs, as well as you can use it around the world with this charger, the 12 volt 3 amp charger. It comes with all the cables that you need, even an Ethernet and a DisplayPort cable. You can get this now from Zima Board. Please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate positive comments and, of course, thumbs up.